What's going on guys, Spartan Willie here and welcome back to our McLaren Motorsport Manager F1 2021 Manager Mod Save. So I hope you're all doing well today. Welcome back to the series. I'm really enjoying this. We've got the engine getting finished up in the next 24 hours in the game as well. So I'm really looking forward to see what Lando can do with the engine. Hopefully we can get a double podium. That would be very cheeky. But before we get too far into it, we're obviously going to go through the comments from last time out. But I did miss a comment from last time from Ethan. We'll just say Ethan. We won't say his full name. But... Um, he said Lucky Daniel on the second episode, which he was lucky because the Mercedes ran out of fuel. <laughs> so, yeah, so sorry I missed your comment, buddy. Um, it was in the first hour. I remember seeing it and screenshotting it to post, but for some reason I didn't didn't put it on the video. So, sorry about that. Won't happen again. Some of our other comments were from Nine Minco. He said, Ricardo was on fire. Also, thanks for featuring my comment from episode two. No worries, mate. Thank you for commenting. It means the world to me. Yes, Ricardo is... Hopefully, he can make a three podiums in a row. It'd be awesome. Peter Place says, love to see the Aussie on back-to-back -back podiums. And if my eyes seen right, massive pit lane crash before El Pyron released. Alonso went to Lando. Keep up the amazing work. Yeah, I actually missed that. But that's quite, <laughs> quite funny, really. I mean, we did see a pit lane crash in Hungary this week, which was just absolutely mad. Mazepin lost the wheel. I don't know what the Alfa Romeo team were thinking there, but, you know, pretty funny to see that replicated in the game. And, uh, yeah, cheers for the support, Peter. Uh, Nin Minko also says, get in there, just got home. Love to see the summer notifications, which is awesome to hear. Thanks so much for switching on notifications. Remember, if you want to be featured in the videos, check on those notifications so you never miss a beat. Cheers, Nimminko. It's the Cole says another podium for Ricardo. Pretty sure that Lando is definitely going to challenge for a podium at Barcelona with the new engine. I hope so. I think this new engine is even better than the one that Daniel's got. So hopefully we can see a massive jump performance and get some good points before Ferrari get their overpowered engines later on the season. Thanks for your comment. It's the Cole. And then we got Andrew who says, great video. I love all the Motorsport Manager series, which is awesome to hear. Thank you so much for your constant support, Andrew. I think you've commented on a few other videos as well. So yes, remember, comment the first hour like the video helps the videos out massively and subscribe to the channel if you're not already goal is a thousand subs by the end of the year that being said let's get into today's episode all right so let's move forward here car repair complete designing engine finished in five hours so now we can improve parts we're not gonna we're just gonna keep this because yeah there we go now we're gonna change to that engine hopefully i'm pretty sure yeah, it's just useful around here, but that should still see a bit of an improvement in Lando's results, hopefully. He hasn't been doing bad this season, but this will be that final step I think he needs before starting a challenge for some podiums, hopefully. We're going to work on reliability a little bit. That's actually kind of important. Uh, it's only at 50, so we'll just get it to at least 70. I think that should be fine. Then we can work on performance. One more day. Yeah, that's fine. Now we can work on performance, and it will actually be a maxed out 1330. So he could have possibly the best engine on grid. It, it could get to that point. Red Bull currently do. And I'm going to keep going forward here. Telemetry sensor. Nothing much really to report. And it's factory stuff ideal. I did miss a bit of a, a, a day there. But that's fine. And look at that. We do have the best engine on grid. And it's in the back of Lando Norris's car. Which is awesome to see. And I didn't design any part. Oh no. I am not on my A game today. But let's design one now. I mean, we can do another engine, so Daniel has a good one as well. Um, what was it that made Lando as good? Was it these two components or this two? That would be the one. So then hopefully they've both got the best engine on grid, but I'm sure... Oh, we have an empty component spot. So I guess we'll chuck that on there. That's weird. We don't have the test track for it, but... Yeah, right, we'll do that. Alright, so hopefully we see a massive performance in the engine there. Look at that. Top of the grid. Beautiful to see. And then we've got a few other areas to work on. But yes, that is that. I'm going to go ahead, do Q1, Q2 and practice in Spain. It's going to be all clear, so hopefully we see the full performance at the engine. I'll see you for quality. Alright, welcome to Q3 in Barcelona. And our Q1 and Q2 pace has been very exciting and I actually switched to that view instead of pausing <laughs> earlier that's why we're in that view but we're going to send him out pretty much straight away here and look at Daniel Ricciardo's setup it is 99% uh, on the super soft so we'll go for two runs we'll just see how fast we are on the first run then we might switch up the second run onto the soft tire because sometimes you get faster pace out of the second tire the Marcy strategy because Marcy commented that on one of my videos so Let's go on this first run here. Hopefully we can see Lando get third again. He was two tenths off the pace in Q2, which is awesome, especially on the harder tire. So that's what makes me think that maybe the soft tire has got a bit of qualifying pace around here, but we'll give it a crack here. 
Zero puts us. Let's just do the race. Do the lap there. And as you can see there, Norris in P2. Ricardo in P3. About quite a gap between our two, men, two um, peeps there. Track rips at the higher, so we may as well send him out again. And I think we will send him out on the softs. Um, let's do that now. Let's just send him out on the soft tyre. Nice big gap. Hopefully we can see a bit of an improvement. We can sort of judge the sector times as we get going here. Um, improvement for Ricardo in all sectors. Lando's dropped down to fourth. He won't improve on the soft tyre. If you can get to the pits soon, you can go for a third run, but I don't think we'll get anywhere close. No, okay. Well, that's that. So, Daniel Ricciardo still out qualifies Lando Norris, but, mate, third and fourth. We will take that any day. That is an awesome result for us. We're a bit far off the pace, but... You know, it's fine. We'll see how we go on the race. Hopefully, we can get some a real good result here. Race day in Catalonia, Barcelona, Spain. All the words that you can think of. All right. Soft tire race room. You already know that we qualified in Q2 on the soft tire. Got through comfortably. That's why I thought we would have had a bit more pace than we did on the soft tire. But Ricardo got some more pace out of it. He had a struggling first lap. But, um, yeah, I guess we go with that. Start the race. Max, Lulu, Ricardo, Norris, Perez, Sainz, Bottas, Leclerc, Stroll, Alonso. Riding on board Ricardo here. Oh, Lando got a better start, so Lando will probably take his spot. We're going to ride on board Lando here. But, oh, and Ricardo's actually really falling back. Who's going to go? But Lando's going to go into the lead of the Grand Prix. He's overtaking Verstappen, which is absolutely awesome. Hopefully, he can just take off now. But Verstappen's going to come back around him at the outside. Ricardo drops down to eighth, but Norris has got. A couple tenths on second place here. And his tyres still looking good. Like in range. His fuel's looking decent. We're just going to absolutely, hopefully, take off this race. I doubt it. Red Bull's got a good engine in the back. But the Mercedes have fallen off too. Hamilton's down in P4. Ricardo is down in P9, which isn't great. We'll tell him to lax it on the tyres. And Lando is almost in the same boat. So, we, all, we know from... Oh, Ricardo's up in the fourth. Okay, I was going to say, we know from early in the season when Lando had a bad start that it's hard to recover from. But, you know, P4 isn't too bad, really. So that's the fastest lap, but on the first lap, that doesn't really matter. We're going to go forward a little bit here. Ricardo's still in P6. Get those tyres in temperature. Same with Lando. Try and get the most out of these tyres. Gasly overtook you, did he? Oh, that's all right. Just get it back. We're going to go back on high fuel instead of overtake mode. And go forward a little bit. And now his tyres overheating. Damn, I forgot to pause it. Now, how long will these tyres go for? They're another 28 laps, and we can jump on another set of them. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do that. So, no rain today, I don't think. There's rarely rain in Spain. We're going to continue on here. Still using quite a bit of fuel. We're going to turn that down now. And it, Ricardo's down in 10th. He's having a shocking race today. And now 11th even. So Lando leading the race. Ricardo struggling in the midfield. This is quite a turn of events, really. Usually we, it's more the other way around. But Norris, uh, to be fair, Ricardo's never led a race. Norris is leading the race. Um, oh, yeah, he did actually, didn't he? Yeah, he did lead a race. He just lost it. But it's seven seconds, but oh, no. They pitted. They're making up so much time on us after the pit stop. Uh, overtake mode. Um, everyone's coming to the pits. Hopefully, they mess it up and have to do a two-stop. Because I don't think those tyres will go to the end. To be honest, we're going to absolutely kill these tyres. Oh no, I said that. And now I don't think we'll be able to go to the end. We're going to have to two-stop as well. What are the mediums like? Do we jump on the medium tyres with Lando here? Because, yeah. How much faster is the soft tyre? No, a pit stop doesn't really mean much in this game. We're going to jump onto that tyre. Because I don't rate the mediums at all. But I'm a bit disappointed there, as we've lost a lot of time in the undercut, which, I mean, we all saw in the Hungarian Grand Prix is quite factual. The undercut is very powerful, but soft, safe, let's go. Come into the pit lane, lads. Mistakes on the tyres and Lando. No. Verstappen takes the lead of the Grand Prix. Oh, well, just hold out for the podium, mate. You've got a massive gap to the clear. But what are we doing, lads? It was a 2% mistake chance. That's why I always go the safe option. And we lose like three and a half seconds. Oh, no. Poor Lando. I mean, there's not much I can really do about it. I selected the safest option, but... A bit guttering there. Ricardo is still on a recovery drive. He's in the fuel positive, which is good. We can go hard on these tires because we're going to stop again anyway. So get them in range. Get them operating at maximum capacity. And now they're overheating. All right, hang on. Let me select it. There we go. Oh, come on, lads. We were, we're doing well, but Verstappen's just so quick. I don't think we would have had to keep him behind anyway. 
That being said, that gap's sort of fluctuating. And where's Hamilton, man? We're, like, we're actually increasing the gap to third place, Leclerc. Ricardo's still really struggling. We're getting him a bit more fuel. Um, yeah, not great. Not great race for him. The Australian, after two fantastic races to start the season, isn't looking great. But we're going to pit Norris now onto the, the another set of softs. I don't think we made the softs last long enough this time round, uh, last time round. So, yeah, they only lasted 21 laps, and we got more than that left in the race. So we're going to have to go a bit easier on these tyres, that's for sure. We're going to pit Daniel Ricciardo on safe. No mistakes, lads, come on. Going to give Ric uh, Norris a bit of an engine mode to try and make up the gap to Verstappen. Oh, we're not watching him. Here we go. Oh, Verstappen's in the pits. Won't really matter, though, for Lando as he comes out in front and then we're going to give Ricardo a bit of fuel so if he can make his way up the grid if they pit yeah there we go they just pitted there I just I was about to say it now go easy on both those things now we've got to be quite conservative on these tires because we do want to get to the end on them go in a high fuel mix we look after him that should be enough now I think those tires will easily make it to the end yeah they will easily so, hopefully Verstappen kills his tyres and has to pit, but I think he's well out front as we're using a lot of fuel for Ricardo. Where would this put us today, this ma this result? 22. So, draw with Ferrari in third. One point behind the Mercedes. Come on, Ricardo, get Perez. No, there's no way. Alright, well, that is fine. So, not a bad race here. It's going to be a third consecutive team podium, which is awesome. Ricardo had a bad start, never really recovered, but Lando has put in an absolute shift. Staying with Verstappen somewhat. Obviously, they made up a lot of time in the first undercut, so not ideal there, but what can you do? We gave it our best effort with the car we got. We're still behind in a lot of areas, like fifth in the gearbox, and the engine's only useful around here, so it's not as crucial as maybe it will be in other parts of the track, but, you know, it's a bloody good result for Lando. He was in the lead of the Grand Prix for a decent amount, and um, we're going to have to go low fuel for Ricardo. I don't think he's in any real jeopardy of losing that eighth place. He's got quite the gap. So, you know, just make sure you get get home. And Lando will cross the line in P2. Fantastic work today, mates. And we continue our podium streak. Awesome. I'm happy with that one. I'm happy. It would, been, would have been better if Ricardo was a bit higher as well. But, um, yeah, nah, Lando, you can't fault him. The new engine, we thought we'd see an improvement, and we sure as hell did. Shame about the stepping out front. Doesn't matter, though. We'll definitely take that. And we uh, maintain the gap to Ferrari because, of course, they got the same amount of points as us. So, you know, the gap stays the same for that third place battle. It's going to be quite the season this year, I think, as the Ferrari will only continue to improve and hopefully we follow suit. Um, yeah, the two stop was the option today, and I think we executed it well. We killed the tyres pretty early on the second stint, so maybe that's different. Oh, but Fernando Alonso gets a 10 second time penalty and has the fastest lap, which he wouldn't have gotten in real life because he's outside the top 10, but that's fine. That means it takes away from Verstappen, I suppose. And there it is. This oh, Let's get the confetti coming down. The second place trophy, the orange confetti's raining down. Christian Horn is on the, on the um, podium. Hopefully, I'll be up there one day when we win a race. But yeah, we'll take that result. Very good drive from Lando Norris. Awesome to see. So that will be the race this episode. Next episode, we've got Monaco, which, I mean, the engine doesn't really mean anything around there. So we won't have it for that race. And we won't have it for Baku, which is a bit disappointing. But we should have it in time for Istanbul Park, which it's crucial. So hopefully we see a massive performance from our lads if we still have the best engine on grid. But that being said, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure to leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already. But I'm sure you already are. Follow me on Twitter, join the Discord server, that is where we stand on the standings. 20 points clear of Ferrari and 30 points behind Mercedes. Hope we can close that gap, but thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.